this video we're going to see how to use the systematic sampling method technique um, and the graphing calculator to get a systematic sample and we're using a, a roster of names similar to the one you have for your assignment and I'm using the numbered list that I created and uh, you probably won't be given a numbered list so make sure you just number the individuals yourself uh, with systematic sampling, you want to think of the classic example of the assembly line. Right? The individuals are put in order, and we uh, start picking an individual, and then we pick every tenth or hundredth individual until we get the desired sample size. Um, so where do we start, and how often do we sample are the obvious questions. Um, I'm going to go ahead and write down your sample size. Uh, here, I'm going to use a sample size of four. And then uh, you get to have an estimate or actual value for your population size. We actually know our population size is 23. And then there's this number K, which is the population size or estimate divided by the sample size that you desire. And when you calculate this, it is not always a whole number, right? Uh, but you always want to round down. So we will actually take that 5.75 and we will round it down to 5. And that's where that number comes from. Sample every fifth individual. Now, where do we start? In order to properly start uh, this technique, we need to pick a random number. And the random number is between 1 and k. So we saw how to pick random numbers before. Um, and this avoids us always starting with the first individual in the sample or population. So uh, let's go to math and then prob and then go to rand int. And we're going to pick a random number between 1 and 5. And we just want one number. So the number four. All right, so we will start with the fourth individual. All right, so now we know where to start and we know how often to sample. We don't really need the calculator anymore. Let's go ahead and do this. Uh, number four is our starting point, and that's Robert Batty. Now we skip ahead five individuals to number nine, and then we get Brooke Carroll. Uh, skipping ahead five more, we get to uh, 14, right? Which is Taylor Gashard. And skipping ahead five more, we get to 19, which is Tynesha Johnson. And those are four individuals. And the choice of K and the starting point guarantee that we don't get to the end of the list prior to um, getting our fulfilled desired sample size. So there we go. A uh, nice systematic sample using the TI graphing calculator.